We always wanted to settle in Israel. Judy always pushed me forward. I didn't resist. I just thought that there were many things that we could do in the United States to help Israel. My father always had that, this incredibly strong love for Israel, and he instilled that love in all of us. My mother, she was a big uh, Zionist, and I think she was one who kind of carried that, the flame in the family. It was a little over 10 years ago when I said, if we're gonna do it, we've gotta do it now. I thank God every day, because our children came too. When I said, do you want to make Aliyah? He goes, okay. And the next day he had a tick and that was it. We were off. <laughs> you know, it was always in the, in the Borvik psyche that this is a place to be. One Israel Fund is really, it, it has a special place in his heart. He cares so much about it. This was not a nine to five job for my dad. This was something he loved. The job is part of his personality. If he doesn't believe in the movement, he can't do the job. When we started One Israel Fund, with the Yechiel Leiter, people were ready to hear uh, what was happening with the communities of Yehuda Shamron. We captured the imagination of the Jewish community in America, and we made every effort to meet their needs. My father-in-law has been so devoted to the cause, has helped countless people with security issues, with personal issues. He was getting people the things that they needed to survive. Being on the receiving end, I have to say that it's uh, nearly impossible to say no to Irvin. I think they're the most admirable people in the world. I mean, they are the people every Jew should look up to. He didn't just come here and build a huge house for himself and make sure that he can build bigger and bigger. He came here and he's helping other people build their houses in Israel. He shows them how beautiful, you know, the Yehuda Shomron is. Not everyone gets a chance to see it. We don't really see a green line on the ground any place. And that's what One Israel Fund is doing to try to make sure that we don't lose uh, half of our country because of some uh, colorful line there. My parents are very special, and I'm so glad that they're being honored. It's like a perfect set of grandparents. He's my role model. We're very proud of Dad and all that he does for Am Yisrael, Eretz Yisrael, Torah Yisrael. Erwin and Judy together, because they really are a team, have are so dedicated to not just the Jewish cause, but specifically to Davish Amran. And you see that by their family. Honoring someone usually comes with a kind of a retirement or some road mark or something of the kind. With Irvin, I guess it's just the beginnings. It's 18 years, but it's uh, 18 years where the mission is still alive. We must provide for those communities of Yehuda Shomron and the Jews who were expelled from Gush Katif. They have great needs, and One Israel Fund is there to help them.